It's estimated the number of researchers working in different fields such as science, archaeology and history is greater than ever before. In fact, the number of researchers who are working four times since the start of the 21st century exceeds the number of researchers during the entire history of the world before the start of the 21st century. This is a remarkable fact and this explains the recent rapid advancements made in different fields during recent years. We are now witnessing a huge number of inventions and discoveries being made in the fields of science, technology and archaeology. Newspapers and blogs around the world are also sharing this news on a daily basis, and it seems that each discovery is expanding our knowledge of the universe, and also helping us to uncover even more discoveries. So today we'll be taking a look at 5 incredible discoveries. The Vampire Greys Bulgaria In 2012, archaeologists discovered two ancient graves that contain the skeletons of alleged vampires. The medieval skeletons have pierced through their upper body with iron rods. Historians believe these skeletons date back to the Middle Ages, and it's most likely that they resided in an ancient seaside town in Bulgaria. Later in 2014, Another alleged vampire grave was discovered in southern Bulgaria. The discovery was made during the excavation and at first the researchers were confused at what they were looking at. The archaeologists unearthed the skeleton of a man who had a stake driven through his chest, and realised that at one point in time this man was probably branded a vampire. Professor Avakrov who was leading the archaeological study said the grave belonged to the 13th century. According to the historians, People living in some towns and villages in Bulgaria believed that until the last century pinning the dead into the ground would stop them from becoming vampires. They had a strong belief that bad people could turn into vampires after their death, and if necessary precautions were not taken at the time of the burial, they could leave the grave at night and hunt any humans they wanted. These ancient vampires were thought to feast on the blood of their victims. Therefore, the hearts of those who had a bad reputation in society were stabbed at the time of the burial. Further measurements were taken to prevent them from rising again. Over the years, archaeologists have uncovered similar graves in other countries. Up until now, more than a hundred alleged vampire skeletons have been discovered in different parts of Bulgaria. Unknown Ramses II Stealer Recently, while carrying out work at the San Al Haga archaeological site in Egypt, archaeologists stumbled upon a stele depicting King Ramses II making offerings to an Egyptian god. The 19th dynasty king Ramses II is one of the most famous pharaohs. He ruled Egypt for 66 years. It's believed that Egypt was at its height of power and glory during the reign of Ramses II. The discovered stone slab shows Ramsay II making some kind of offering to an unknown Egyptian god. The stela has been made from red granite. The discovery of the stela was quite unexpected, and it encouraged the archaeologists to carry out further research at the site. Historians believe the stela was made on the orders of the king himself. Over the years, the archaeological site has been explored by several archaeological missions from around the world. However, despite the vast exploration and diggings, the site has not yet been fully explored. Egyptian experts believe the site has a lot of potential for further exploration, as it was the home to a number of temples during the Egyptian era. Temples dedicated to God Amun, God Horus and Goddess Mut were discovered at the site. Roman Boxing Gloves Boxing is considered to be quite an ancient sport. Historians have found evidence of boxing being a major sport during the Roman era. Different paintings and sculptures documenting the sport have been discovered in ancient ruins of the Roman Empire. Recently, archaeologists discovered a pair of Roman boxing gloves near Hadrian's Wall in England. The gloves are quite intelligently designed. They feature a protective guard that easily fits over the knuckles. These gloves were packed with different natural materials in order to provide protection to the knuckles, and historians estimate the gloves were made somewhere around 120 AD. Due to the high quality materials used in their making, 
they're still in perfect condition and they can still be comfortably worn today. Experts say the design of the gloves is very close to the design of some of the modern day boxing gloves that don't cover the entire hand. While exploring the ancient ruins of the Roman Empire, the archaeologists have also come across a number of writings about boxing. Archaeologists have also found boxing related scriptures and paintings belonging to the Greek era. Historians believe that boxing was practiced in the Roman army in order to promote and improve fitness, stamina and the fighting skills of the soldiers. Different competitions were also held that were widely spectated by enthusiasts. The Roman boxing gloves on one hand have shown the interest of the Romans in boxing, on the other hand they've given a new insight into the crafting skills of the Romans. Molecule detected from the dawn of chemistry Recently in April 2019, scientists discovered the most ancient molecule in the universe. While researching about the early chemistry of the universe immediately after the Big Bang, they found a molecule known as helium hydride played a key role at that time. This positively charged molecule was formed when a helium atom shared its electrons with a proton or nucleus of a hydrogen. It's believed to be the first ever molecule bond and the first chemical compound formed after the Big Bang. This molecule also played a key role in the formation of hydrogen molecules. Although scientists were able to produce helium hydride in a laboratory about a century ago, they could not detect it in the universe. They'd come to the conclusion that the chemical compound may be present in the gas clouds formed before the birth of stars, or in the gas expelled as a result of a star's death. Scientists had been looking for helium hydride in different galaxies across the universe. However, there was no definitive evidence that could point to its existence in the interstellar space, and it was a huge dilemma faced by the researchers. The breakthrough came when recently they were finally able to spot helium hydride in a bright small planetary nebula, and it's believed to be only 600 years old. This planetary nebula is located around 1,864 miles or 3,000 kilometers from Earth. The researchers believe that by observing the helium hydride in the distant gas and dust cloud, they've finally been able to understand what's been happening in the dawn of chemistry. The entire research work took nearly a decade and it finally came to an end with this startling discovery. Today, helium hydride has very little importance on Earth. However, at one point in time it was the most important compound in the entire universe, and everything that we see today can be credited to its formation. Dorset Vikings the archaeologists spent years excavating different sites in order to find something of significance. While most of the times they're not able to find anything of a historic nature, or great value they keep looking in the hope to one day discover something significant, and sometimes they do stumble upon an artifact, a grave, a relic or ruins from the past that make all those years of hard work worthwhile. In June 2009, a similar moment came in the lives of a group of researchers who were excavating a site in the seaside town of Weymouth in England. The archaeologists were excavating for the preparation of Weymouth Relief Road, when they stumbled upon a mass grave that contained 51 separate skulls, and 54 scattered skeletons. Some of the immediate questions that came to their mind were who were these unlucky individuals, and why did they pass away in such a manner? After performing various tests on the skulls and skeletons, the experts concluded that these were the remains of a group of Scandinavian Vikings. It's believed that these remains belong to a group of individuals who lived during the early part of the Middle Ages. The experts could not pinpoint the exact year or decades they were alive, but they concluded that it was sometime between the 5th and 10th centuries. All the remains belonged to young males, their ages are estimated to be between teenage and 25 years old. However, a few skeletons and skulls are that of older males. The exact circumstances of death could not be determined either. However, it was quite evident that the unlucky individuals were killed during a conflict. The historians believe that it was most probably a conflict between Anglo-Saxons and the Viking invaders. After finding the mass grave of the Scandinavian Vikings, the archaeologists are now looking for other similar mass grave sites in the area, and any artifacts belonging to the unlucky men. 
However, up until now they've not been able to find any clothing or other remnants from the site, or any other site in the area that could be linked to the mass grave. So what do you think of these 5 amazing recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.